We're at the Houston warehouse for SunGrow Americas in a live repair center where there's a lot of activity happening, answering some questions that, that people had. So Lauren Fitz wants to know, uh, what attracted you to the field of cybersecurity? Big backstory behind that, but, but really my family, my dad's been in it for 27 plus years, my stepdad's been in it for, for 30 plus years, my wife's in it, I'm in it, my best friend's in it, and so you can kind of see where this is going, and uh, ever since I was a little kid, doing data center moves, rack and stack hand, crawl spaces, pulling cable through and handing it up to my dad for these moves, right? But I also wanted to do something that was actually meaningful. Cybersecurity means we're we're doing something, whether it be protecting people's money, protecting people's health, or protecting you know the nation from, from cyber attacks. So that's really what drew me here is a combination of the two. I can stay busy, I can affect change and do something that essentially helps the general population. So Pixel Princess would like to know what exactly does a cybersecurity strategist do? And what are the key responsibilities? I think any leadership in an organization, um, when you look at cybersecurity strategy, you have to look at what direction is the industry going? You know, what are some gaps, the most critical gaps, the low hanging fruit? What are things that we can take into account and essentially close those gaps? We look at what's most likely to happen, what's least likely to happen, and we assess the risk and essentially create a roadmap and a path forward. Sometimes there's a red team, right, which is like hackers, right? They do threat modeling and threat intelligence. Then you have like the blue team, handles internal security, they're like the good guys, they're monitoring everything, right? That will typically be your cybersecurity team, but I mentioned earlier that cybersecurity is not just the security team, right? It's an organization-wide effort. There's a lot that goes into it from people, processes, and technology. Veed Sultani, uh, how are inverters and battery storage plants connected to the web? Is it like my smart fridge? You know, I, I think anything that's connected to the web Right? If, if it has a connection, then they're gonna be similar, right? There's a way that you can connect back to it or it can connect out. So is it like your smart fridge? Maybe in some ways, but there are a lot of controls that go in between inverters and batteries. Think of it as a you know, firewall that is gonna separate these inverters and battery storage plants, whereas your fridge is probably connected through your router and a little bit more rudimentary on, on that side, so. Tara the Techie, is asking, what is grid resilience and what role do manufacturers play in promoting it? Yeah, I think that's a, that's a pretty good question. Being able to withstand right, uh, anything from cybersecurity attacks to um, power outages, anything that you look at from grid resilience, it's going to be how are we ensuring that the grid stays online? Is that gonna be the way that the product is designed? Is that extreme weather temperatures? Is that you know, someone trying to hack in my system. Overall, manufacturers play a big role in this when they're designing their products. From when the firmware is released, from when the product is made, when it's thought up of, you know, when the blueprint design is there, how do we ensure resilience, security, and essentially longevity of our grid? I think that manufacturers are, are looking for better ways to continue resilience and always improve. Coding Queen Pro says, in your view, what is the best path forward for U.S. energy independence? I think we've seen collaboration in and out of the community with different groups and organizations like CISA or Department of Homeland Security. I've seen a lot from the community coming together and, and asking, well, what are those next steps, right? What does that look like? And how do we secure the grid? How do we secure our critical infrastructure and ensure that it is resilient? Um, to anything that might come its way.